pride on this paper a lot. Despite being recorded at the same time as This Machine Still Kills Fascist, Dropkick Murphys made a better record the second time around. Let's get into the woody woods with the Dropkickies. The exuberant joy of My Eyes Are Gonna Shine opens this album into the fresh wooded farmland of Ireland. And an opening track is an important part of, of any record, I feel like. Um, this one uh, just let me know that I was in for a quality recording and an emotional good time, which is very important in listening to music in every song ever. The Violent Femmes come a-calling on Gotta Get to Pipsqueak, or whatever that says on track two, uh, Poughkeepsie. And uh, while there aren't much like Violent Femmes vibes on the track, the two bands sonically complement each other. And I don't think anyone broke a leg or died during the, the recording of that song, so that's, a, that's, a, that's pretty cool. I hurt myself shaving a lot recently, so. Watching the World Goes By is a, like, it's the first one that really hit me in the feels. Sometimes we are limited uh, in our scope of our experience of the world, and if you bear with me just for one moment, you gotta bear with the microphone. We are going to talk about our limitations in this world. Uh, we're limited uh, of our scope of the world by what we have or what we don't have, right? That's the big one, what we don't have. And um, while we may not be able to travel the world on a whim, you know what, my friends? Um, if you, this is pretty serious. Um, if you are hurting, if you're depressed, uh, if you're sad, if, if, you're, if, you, if you have any of those negative emotions, uh, which I've got some negative emotions right now that I'm dealing with, uh, go out in nature, okay? You might not be able to fly to Germany. You may not be able to fly to Costa Rica or the Bahamas, um, but it costs nothing to get out of your house. Like, even if there's no woods or trails around you, just get out. Walk down the street. Uh, yesterday, I walked around my neighborhood for 30 minutes just to get some exercise. Uh, just get out. Get out and, uh, and get help if you need help. Um, get away from everyone and clear your mind. Okay, back to the punk rock jolliness. Um, I know how it feels is another relatable song about being, um, you know, about knowing how it feels, right? That's not what I have to say here. Uh, underworks, underpaid, and bills stacking up. Um, and he's, he's singing about being dragged in front of a judge, uh, the entire world uh, just being against him. Uh, that's some of the most powerful stuff that I've heard in my life. It just really, that song really hit me uh, really hard. It really made me feel something. The next song uh, that comes to mind, it, it brings the clash into my brain. Uh, by way of Hawaiian riffage, which isn't something I expected to say in 2023 or any year uh, so thank you you punk rock bastards uh, there is a weird and wonky country western detour with uh, hear the curfew blow it's good I like it but it's not one of the highlights it's okay the next song is the one that I'm most excited to talk about uh, we have got to talk about and um, yeah I just picked my nose on camera so that's great you're gonna have to look at this uh, this microphone too because um, this is crazy. Bill Jackson, we gotta talk. Do you guys know Bill? Mr. Jackson is just as good or bad as any man I've ever seen. Just as good or bad as you or me. But I think he's a little worse. I don't know. I mean, I don't know about you guys. I haven't done this. Uh, Bill Jackson is the lead scumbag on a mission in a song called Bring It Home. This is the one you have to hear, guys. This is the must hear. Uh, this is hilarious and also heartbreaking in the same key. The story is, um, it's a story song about a man who thinks that bringing home gifts um, while he's clearly cheating on, uh, on his special uh, significant other um, will cover up the fact that he's blatantly cheating. Um, I don't wanna spoil uh, the kind of surprise ending that's in the track, uh, but this is some of the most fun that I've ever had with a Woody song. So, and I, I've been, I've been, or I've known some Woody songs. And uh, <clears throat> Jamie Hyatt, 
who's done some amazing features and she's got her own amazing body of work. Um, uh, she really helps deliver the, the punchline at the end of this thing. And uh, definitely check this out if you only have three minutes and 22 seconds left in life. You want to spend it listening to this. If you've got 28 minutes or more, check out the rest of the record. It's a short, punchy, Woody Gooder 3 cover album. And um, I like I like that it is a blah, I like that it is a very short album. It's a very fast paced and short album. So that's pretty great. When I was a young boy sounds more like an old school dropkick Murphy's track. Like like an original Dropkick Murphy's, you may say. Uh, maybe something from the blackout era. Uh, like something like that. I really, really like that blackout era, man. That was that's my favorite dropkick era. Oh, uh, just the kick in the Irish pants that I need to make the finish line. That was, oh my gosh, blackout era. You guys, oh, oh, you bastards. <laughs> there's, there's a battle cry against bad old Adolf coming in later in the album. And then there's a Tulsa version of I'm shipping out to Boston at the very end, you know, the, 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 the anti-Adolf track was the penultimate track. And then the ultimate track, the celebratory battle cry that represents just a portion of the success that the Dropkickies have had in the punk rock universe and beyond. 2.9 out of 5. I like it. Please subscribe, uh, comment, share, and all those things. Watch other videos because those things will help me make four cents of you on YouTube. And one day, I will have success.